What's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I utilize some of our new arrivals by creating this cute dangle freshwater pearl belly chain. Let's get right into how to create this piece. These are all the different pearls that we got with the 18 karat gold plating enamel around them. Some of them are connectors with the two loops on the side and some are just pendant drops. So I'll be using some of these to create the belly chain. First, I'm going to begin by cutting each chain at about two inches. Once you have all the chains pre-cut in their two inch lengths, or whichever length that you prefer. Grab a jump ring, use your set of pliers to open up the jump ring, attach it to the link of the chain, and then onto the pearl connector, and use your pliers to close the jump ring up, pass the ring, and then come back to where they meet. And you wanna hear that little click that indicates that you are closing off the jump ring fully. Next, open up another jump ring, attach it to the opposite side of the pearl, and then onto the next link of the two inch pre-cut chain. And you wanna be pushing your hands closer together as you close the ring, pass it, and then come back to where they meet. You heard that little click again, which indicates that it's fully closed and there's no opening left behind. And you can go ahead and repeat this same thing to all chains and pearls until all of the chains and pearls are connected. After you've attached all the pearl connectors, it should look something like this. Next, we're gonna go ahead and attach the clasp to the end so we can hook it off. The bottom part does swivel, so it does have an easier application and you can position it to how you'd like. Using your pliers, open up the jump ring, attach it to the connector, and then onto the clasp. Then using your set of pliers, Go ahead and push your hands closer together as you're closing off the jump ring and you want to hear the clicking noise as you pass the two. Pass the ring and come back to where they meet. And for the opposite side, I'm going to be using a larger jump ring to have an easy application for the clasp to hook onto. Once you're done, you should just be able to hook the clasp onto the end. And what's really cool and versatile about this piece is that each link is wide enough to where you can take this clasp and hook it at a shorter length. So if you wanted to wear it as a necklace lariat, you can totally do that as well. I still want to go ahead and utilize these really cute pendants that will be used as a dangle effect on the body chain when it comes to designing there's truly no right or wrong way of applying your charms this is just one method of how i'd like to do it but you can totally use this idea and create any different design of your choice so just utilizing your jump ring you can go ahead and attach the charms in between sections of the chain or anywhere else that you really desire And that's all you need to do in order to create this freshwater pearl belly chain. 
Here is a close-up and you can totally rock this with a bikini or even with a crop top that I have on right now over a dress as a belt. You can really get super creative with it. So in the tutorial process, I even mentioned how you can utilize this piece as a necklace as well. So I wanted to show you guys how that would work. One way to do it is by creating a lariat. So you can use the clasp and kind of just hook it onto any link of the chain. Maybe go higher since my top is short, like here. And then it'll just like hang down. And what I did with this ending is I attached one charm right here too, where the clasp would originally hook on the belly chain. So that way, if you wear it as a necklace, you'll still have this pendant at the bottom instead of it just being an O-ring. You could even use it to double up and wear it as a choker double layer. So it could totally double as a necklace and wear in so many versatile ways. Each length that you cut can be personalized to different waist sizes. There's no right or wrong way of designing this piece. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it inspired you to create something for the summer or even the winter. This piece can really just be used year round. In our next video, I'm also going to be tapping into this freshwater pearl gold embellished piece by utilizing these new crosses that we got in and creating an earring with it. So make sure to stay tuned to see how to create this piece as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.